And now we're going to assemble the regulator, regulating device for a current keeper slash keep alive slash home brewed or secondary voltage source. I have five 2.7 microfarad or 2.7 volt one farad caps, super caps. Also have a piece of tie material for equivalent to fast tracks that I'm using as a circuit board. What I will do is I will place this piece of two-sided tape. It gives me a third hand to hold this in place. Just set that down on there to hold the circuit board. And I start off with a 13 and a half volt Zener diode that I will solder in one spot, observing the polarity to the right side. I use paste solder, which is the same solder that is used to manufacture our circuit boards for DCC. I'll solder one end, holding it down. is in place. And then I take a 120 ohm 3 quarter watt resistor and I'll solder that in the second spot the same way. Just enough paste to make the joints. Down. Good. Now, observing polarity, this is a 1N4004 rectifier diode. Polarity to the right again is positive. And I'll hold that in place right on top of the resistor. And I will solder that in place. Now this is stacked on top of the resistor. Okay. I can solder the other end of the Zener diode at any time, but I'm doing this now. Now, I take a piece of red wire because that's common for identification purposes. And I'll put that right into this between the two diodes and resistor setup. And I'll solder that in place. But this side is going to be all three devices plus the wire. So it might take a little more. And just to hold it down. Done. Now, the blue wire, which is connected to the blue wire of the decoders, We'll go to the positive side. Of the circuit. Again. Just enough to hold it down. Now the black wire. Is the negative side of. 
this circuit. which will complete the regulator circuit for this system. This is done. Now, I normally would take all of this and enclose it in some shrink tubing. Insulates it all on, like such. Now, I just used the barrel of my iron. Not at the tip, but up near the heating element of the iron. Just like that. And there is the regulator for the keep alive. Now, I'll take the caps, and I will cut off on three of them, the leads to about a quarter of an inch. One, and like this, one way, the other way. The negative lead to the left, the positive lead to the right. I'll set this down, like so. Do another one. Now, holding the positive up this way and the negative that way. And I put that right side by side. This two sided tape is like a third hand. Apply some solder. And create the joints. Okay. Do the third one. And this way. And this way. The negative is shown this that way. Pull back this cover a little bit. Lay that next to it. Apply some solder. And make the joint. Now the two outboard caps. This is going to be the, just the positive lead for now. Cut short. Do the negative side like so. And put that next to this one. little solder and make the connection. Now I'm going to do the opposite of the other side. It's the negative one that's shortened. Like so. Set this here so I can make my hold it in place. And let's make the solder joint. Up. 
And there you have five caps connected in series. Now, when soldering this whole thing together, I normally will take positive, negative, and I fold these down in both sides. Now I take my red wire, red black. <coughs> I'll start with the red and make that connection. Red wire to the positive. And then put some solder on this. Solder this in place like so. All right, I will take the black lead, a clip, strip this. strip this so we have two connections here. Place these together to connect the other side. And so this to that. This is the complete Keep Alive regulator circuit. Black and blue wires is what Soundtracks uses. Or black and white and blue wire TCS. Now, I'll cover that back up. And then I can take piece of capped on tape, which is what I use, and insulate the top. And I usually cut a piece. About the length of the caps. And place that across the electrical end of this. Uh, close to this dimension there. Good. Lay that in there. And there. And there is a finished keep alive. Blue wire to the blue to the decoder, black wire to the common connection of the decoder. And that's how I build a key flyer. Yeah.